Hey everybody, it's Steph Mischuk with KillerPHP, KillerSites.com, KillerVideoStore.com. In this vlog, we're going to talk about a few things, disparate things. Um, first of all, a uh, question that was put to me recently is, should I learn code fusion? Uh, uh, just in case you guys don't know, code fusion is basically server-side programming I hesitate to call it language, and you learn why. But anyway, it's a server-side technology that competes with PHP, Ruby, Java, .NET, so on. Should you learn it? I would say probably not if you're looking to get independent work in, uh, you know, web app, web application development. Um, and the reason I don't think you should is because I, you know, for every code fusion job that's available, there's probably 10,000 PHP jobs and 7,000 Ruby jobs and 10,000 Java jobs. You get the idea. Code fusion is a niche technology. It's, it had its day back in the uh, late nineties. Uh, but at this point in time, the demand is just not there. First of all, it's a commercial product. You have to pay for it. It's not too expensive. I haven't looked at, you know, ColdFusion in years, to be honest with you, but the a license for a ColdFusion server so you could actually run your ColdFusion code on a live website. If you had to buy the server, it was like a grand or so, server software. But you can find ColdFusion hosting, which is not too expensive, but it is specialized. So what was the, the whole point of ColdFusion versus PHP? and the other languages out there. Essentially, it was set up to be very friendly for web designers because all the code it looks like tags. They, you know, they're actually structured like, uh, very much like HTML, HTML tags where you have angled brackets and text in there. Instead of, instead of, instead of saying image, you might say, uh, you know, connect to database uh, tag. And so they wanted to make it look you know, like HTML, so it's more friendly for web designer types. And it was a great way for these types, for these non-programmers to put up simple web applications uh, very quickly. The other advantage of ColdFusion over uh, competing technologies was that it provided a lot of uh, turnkey solutions, out-of-the-box solutions. So if you want to generate a graph, you didn't have to go searching for uh, special uh, libraries to, per, to present graphs, dynamic charts or something. You just drop in the ColdFusion object and uh, boom, 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 it grabbed data from your database, it created pretty charts and stuff like that. So I'm sure they have a bunch of uh, prepackaged, ready to go f functionalities, if you will, when you get ColdFusion. So that's one of the other advantages. That's the two advantages. Uh, that said, I think these advantages have diminished quite a bit because the other uh, languages, the other environments like Ruby, uh, Pure Java, uh, PHP, of course, these things are, have been put out there by independent open source people and, and otherwise. Um, now, ColdFusion was actually originally written in C and then it had its own tag-based library. Um, it was ported at some point. I'm not sure what the date. Anyway, it was ported at some point. It's now basically, Cofuge is basically a Java 2 double E container. So what does that mean? Basically, Cofusion is just a Java. Uh, it's just made with Java. That's all it is. And it's something, and it's actually just a tag lib. Tag libs are basically Java's way uh, mechanism rather that allows anybody to create any tag and then have the Java server engine read those tags and understand what the tag means. If you don't understand that, it doesn't really matter unless you're getting into a whole Java thing. So just understand that number one, ColdFusion looks like tags to make it easier for web designer types. Uh, number two, it has prepackaged uh, widgets and capability that make it a little bit easier. Uh, to do certain things and when you would, would say in other languages. Of course, as I said, I think that that gap has been narrowed quite a bit. And um, number three, ColdFusion is really just a Java 
implementation, as I say, it's, it's, it's a Java application. Um, here's the thing, when it comes to programming uh, any type of application, whether it be web apps or whatnot, the understanding of, uh, of a language is actually the easy part. I know some web design types are going, oh, no, no. But actually, you know, you do up our videos on basic PHP and JavaScript, all this stuff become pretty easy quickly. Uh, that said, yeah, again, what's hard about developing good applications is good application design. And now when I'm saying design, I'm not talking about the way it looks. I'm talking about how you structure your code, how you structure your application, uh, your algorithms, these sorts of things. And whether you're using ColdFusion tag-based system or using PHP, Ruby, or whatnot, you're still going to have those issues to contend with. And in fact, the tag-based paradigm for building sites, which uh, Code Fusion obviously uses, does have its limitations as the site gets more complex. Although, again, to be fair to Code Fusion, I haven't looked at it in years, so perhaps they've improved upon that, especially since they basically stuck Code Fusion on top of Java. Uh, and Java tends to be sophisticated. Actually, it's, it's too sophisticated in many respects. But that, I've discussed that in another video. So there you go. If you want to uh, learn Cold Fusion, understand that you're going to have very limited job prospects. Understand that the, uh, many of the, of the advantages of, that once Cold Fusion had are gone. And ultimately, you're going to have to learn and understand programming concepts and architectural concepts if you want to be a successful uh, web programmer. Final note though, if you decide you're going to become a freelancer, you're going, to, you're going to control the whole process when you're dealing with clients and you just want to be able to bang out sites real quickly, simple things like simple shopping cart systems or simple contact systems, you may, you may want to go to Code Fusion but uh, because you have total control and you just want to bang out things quickly. See, that's, that's a big part of being successful as a web designer or developer is to be able to produce good product, good, good dynamic sites, uh, quicker than the next guy. And it's going to go a long way to getting more contracts and it's going to go a long way to uh, being profitable. And I, again, I've discussed this in other videos about... Uh, and, and, and podcast about you know structuring your web development process, the the workflow, so that it's quick and efficient, so you can pop up good quality stuff very quickly. And uh, yeah, there you go. So that's it for this video blog. I will uh, cover. That's it. Bye.